Yes, or Manx, Elian Faliachtek Pert Sodrick. It's a little story written in Manx by George Broderick, published in Skielacht Storytelling in 1976. In Manx, the story starts like this. Shaw Skiel and a Humazaka Lyorish, Ilya McKindry, by Shan Danius and Elian, Mush Kied Blaine the Henye. Tad Grey the Vel Elian Begon, Nolaya and a Humaphon Heden, Fagaste Pert Sodrick. Tad Grey, yes, on the Shan Leg and Kiet the Rau. Trevor Finn McCool on, the row put the lie beggar at an alien shen, as when it faggot at Finn at Orenyach. Kinderkris shen, when a obvious ulkachow at an alien, as rest a phon usche a, the way tummit gus grunt na mare, as the commulty end in jinde gus capen cloy ray. Tad grey the vochet kid giri gus echte na mare, unchiest a dach shacht and bleene rish lye uer. The big dun ye dunnel a beyond, Yenachay and Obbia show a verisha, the Derachy Bible, a rhyna be genelian. Tre iriachay the bollach asna ushchachan, murve the bunadach. And now the English for that piece. Here's a story that was collected by William Harrison from old men in the island about a hundred years ago. They say there's a little island lying submerged under the sea near to Port Sodrick. They say also that in the old days, in the time of Finn McCool, that some people were living on that island, and that they ridiculed Finn for some reason. Because of that, he cast evil enchantment on the island, and pressed it to the bottom of the sea to be submerged. The inhabitants were changed into blocks of red stone. It said they got permission to rise to the surface of the sea for half an hour every seven years. If there was any brave man, he would break the evil enchantment, if he placed a Bible on any part of the island, when it would rise completely out of the water, as it had been originally. And in Manx again, Either row, as ve chitkas kyaun na me main fower, ve benen mazut nor a cain, shul er a trai merish in dunya, ve suri uri, ve rihollus vur an aura agans a spear in an skin. Je huggy ka taster, de ruthenyak sephorthius, brother mach as no stichen as moedach e hyn ag an un tre. Hogi edyn e dy rei an elion foliach dvon, as e sia giri mach as a cidn cian oed rhi. Dy dol tajim, lemi a sŵl, fai raeach yn y dunia, as rai i dy falia, hytafi ys oddychi, as gilach son yn faibl, son sian y chorlí gus an elion. Ach fe yndys mŵr er y mŵngyr, ffagyn i rai yn sai a mŵr, a hirad o'r o'r i dde sian. Din she and Cleden skeel dow, as the bew, rawi grim a revival, as a suli a rash gus and trai, son an elian a roshin. Ach, tre chosen the in trai, havaki veg, ach mullach an elian gulf on heden, as the shach blian a elia, yenach a lie a grunt na mara. Vine tre shen mach, humbly and ven rish tamalt lower, rosh maduri bess, as leaden trimja uri. As tad grey, the jagan dunya exdis as grey g. As the rear beel arish find lash and mach, ha blows the dunya be gul caran elian shen a chora be. And now the English for that last piece. One night, near the end of September, a woman called Nora Kane was walking on the shore with the man who was courting her. The great harvest moonlight was to be seen in the sky above them when she noticed something in the distance sticking out of the sea and enlarging itself at the same time. She realised it was the secret island that was actually rising out of the sea in front of her. She quickly jumped out of the arms of her sweetheart and ran home as quickly as she could, shouting for a Bible to bring to the island. Her folk were very surprised to see her running in such a hurry and asked her why she was acting like that. She told them the whole story, snatched the Bible, and away with her back to the shore to reach the island. But when she reached the shore, all she saw was the peak of the island going under the sea. For seven more years it would be at the bottom of the sea. From that time she pined for a long time before she died in great sorrow. They say that her sweetheart died also out of love for her, and according to folklore, no man at all ever dared try to reach the island. And that's the end. But was that the curse of Finn McCool, or had she taken too long explaining about the secret island?